In this video, we're going to take a look at the new multi-camera support. So in the summer 2018 release, we added support for cameras that are embedded in a file. Camera import is supported in FBX, GLTF, Alembic, and Collada. We recommend using FBX because the format supports more camera options. So here you'll notice that uh, in this example, I'm just using the meet mat sample project. And here at the top of the window, since this mesh file contained multiple cameras, we have a new drop down here that gives me access to all the cameras that were embedded in this FBX file. And I can use this drop down to quickly select or change which camera I want to be working with here in my 3D view. Now you can use the keyboard shortcut shift key plus the greater than or less than key to cycle through your cameras. So here you can see that I'm just cycling through all the cameras just using the keyboard shortcut. Now here, if we come over to our display tab and we're looking at the viewport settings, you'll notice that we have a new option here for camera frame. And by default, you'll see that show camera frame is enabled. So for example here, I'm just going to cycle through my cameras and I'm just gonna find a camera. So we'll go with this one here. And you can see that we can visualize the camera frame. You can see it outlined here in the viewport. And we also have a gate mask opacity. So for example, if I turn this all the way up to 100, you can see where the gate mask is clipping here the camera frame. And again, we can use this slider here to just simply adjust the opacity. So in order to use the cameras, if you're creating a new project, so for example, let's say that we go to a file new project, just make sure that in the import settings, you just have import cameras enabled. Now, if you already have a project and you would like to add multiple cameras to that, you can import those through the project configuration. So here you can see that I've opened the Jade Toad sample project that ships with the summer 2018 release. Notice that this project does not contain any camera, so I don't have my drop down menu for this. So I'm going to jump over to Maya and I'm going to create a new camera. So here you can see that in Maya, I've created a new camera and here I have the Jade Toad mesh. Here on the camera, you can see that, you know, I've set various camera attributes such as my angle of view. So now that I have this set, what I would do is just uh, select my mesh, select my camera and just do an export selected from Maya. And in, like I said, in my case, I'm just going to choose FBX. So I'm going to export this as an FBX and then I'm going to re-import this back into the Painter project. Okay, so here I'm back in Painter and I want to update my project. So I'm going to come up here to the edit menu and choose project configuration. And then I'm going to browse for that FBX file that I exported from Maya. Here I'm just going to click on the select button. And uh, this here is the FBX. I just called it Toad and we'll open this guy. And so now in the import settings, I want to make sure that I have import cameras enabled. Now in this case, you can see that I did not change the mesh and I didn't change any of the materials. If for some reason you do need to update your materials or change any names or add any new materials, you can always go to the texture set settings menu and relink the layer stack with any of the new materials using the reassign texture set option. The texture set settings menu is not new. It's, it's been in painter for a while, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. All right. So we have this guy set up. We'll click OK. And so now you can see that I've updated the mesh and I've imported the camera, which means I now have this new dropdown. So again, here, if I choose that camera one, which is what it was named inside of Maya, you can see that uh, I now have my camera that I can work with here. So one other thing that I want to bring your attention to here, if we go back to our display settings and I'm going to go to the camera tab, we also have this lock button. So if I lock this, you can see that uh, I'm not going to be able to change anything with this particular camera preset, which is this again, this is the camera that I created inside of Maya. So if I try to rotate this camera view, you can see that a warning pops up saying the camera is locked and it gives me a button here. So you can see that if I wanted to, I could choose to unlock it, which is going to unlock it here in the display settings. So that's how the new multi-camera support works in the summer 2018 release. You can now import cameras that are embedded in a file, such as with FBX, GLTF, Alembic, and Collada. We have a new drop-down list that allow you to select which camera you want to work with in your viewport. And you can also choose to lock those camera settings so they can't be accidentally adjusted. And lastly, we showcased how we could go to the edit project configuration to import cameras coming from an updated mesh file. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.